Monica. Hey, Ken. Good to see you. Good to see you. How should we start? Hi, my name's Ken Kent. I'm the Senior Vice President of Chemical Development and Manufacturing here at Gilead Sciences. Hi, my name is Monica Tijerina. I'm in global supply chain and external manufacturing within pharmaceutical development and manufacturing. Our industry uses many acronyms. So PDM, what does PDM stand for within Gilead and, and what does PDM do? Yeah, that's a good question. You know, PDM stands for Pharmaceutical Development and Manufacturing. So pharmaceutical development is really, how do you make it? How do you test it? How do you administer it? Uh, so when a compound first comes out of research, whether it's small molecule or biologic, it's really an idea. And that will have to be tested. Is it safe and effective in people? There is so much to figure out, and really we want it to be the optimal patient experience, really. So what would be best for patients and how do we deliver that? You know, the sort of team dynamics are really integral to what we do. Uh, can you give me a sense of how your team operates and who do you work with and for? In discovery, it's really important that uh, we're there uh, with the scientists that are identifying targets uh, to treat HIV or to treat a type of cancer. And so you would have direct interaction with many individuals within research. And then as you start to progress into development and commercial, it opens up who you're working with as far as understanding what the patient needs are, um, making sure you develop the best medicine possible for them. Many people go to pharmaceutical industry because they have a personal connection. Uh, do you have a personal connection? What, what uh, drove you to join Gilead? Well, you know, when I first uh interviewed at Gilead, I thought it was really exciting, the passion that the, uh, the founder had for the company and the, the belief that we were gonna make a difference and have impact on patients' lives. And right off the bat, uh, in the late 80s, we started working on HIV treatments. And in the Bay Area, HIV was just a devastating disease. And I, in fact, I had uh, two brother-in-laws that both passed from HIV. I remember I was at a, one of our manufacturing sites and we were really pushing to get these compounds uh, to the to the patients and I was telling this flyer, I'm gonna ask really unreasonable things of you for a very reasonable cause, because this could be your mother, your father, your brother, your sister. Definitely, I can, I can understand what you're saying. Monica, you know, there's a lot going on at Gilead, that's an understatement. How do you keep your energy up? How do you uh, maintain that same easy demeanor and uh, get it done attitude? If you love science or you have somebody who's been impacted by a disease, this is, this is a career that you can choose and it's very rewarding and it gives back more than I put in. So I think for me, um, I really feel very passionate around STEM education for students and we don't produce enough students that pursue a career in STEM. And so with me, I've been very fortunate to get an opportunity to lead Gileados. That's a, an employee resource group for Latinos. And so we spend time to support the Latino community and support STEM education. So Ken, you've been with Gilead a very long time, and I wanted to ask you, in, in your 33 years at Gilead, what is your most memorable project that you've worked on? Boy, my most memorable project in 33 years at Gilead, that's a good question. I think when we got our first uh, approval for a COVID-19 treatment, to get that done as quickly as the team did under such unusual circumstances was just phenomenal. I couldn't be prouder of them. Monica, so you know, Gilead's talked a lot about not only what we do, but focusing on how we do it. And part of that is really trying to grow through diversity, diversity of thought and inclusion of uh, all voices. Can you tell a little bit of how that positively impacts our ability to develop new medicines? So there's been a lot of research that shows when you have individuals who think differently and you have people who will listen to those unique ideas that you get to a better outcome. And so uh, develop of medicines are no different just a diverse set of individuals uh, from years of industry, gender, um, training, uh, you know, education. All of those give you different perspectives. Without that diverse group, you will naturally just have blind spots. And so listening to those individuals always help to get to a better outcome. Uh, Monica, it's been a lot of fun. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Thank you, Ken. I, I really enjoyed our time here together. And just thank you for sitting with me today and, and sharing your stories. Always a pleasure. All right, see you soon. Bye. Bye.